Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve equations with fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here two different examples for us to solve, and later on, I will give you an activity after this video. So let's try solving these two equations. We have here 2x over 7 plus 2 is equal to 12. So the question here, what is the value of x that will make this whole part of the equation be equal to 12? Or in other words, we will try to solve for the value of x that can satisfy this given equations. So let's try number 1. So as you can see, we have here a denominator of 7. So what we need here is to eliminate 7 for us to find the value of x. So the process is, you will multiply the whole equation by your denominator which is 7. So what we need to do is to use distributive property. So we will multiply this. So this will become 7 times 2x and then over 7. And then for the other term, you will also multiply it by 2, by 7, that is plus 7 times 2, equal to 12 times 7. So we have 12 times 7. And then we will simplify this. So as you can see, this part, this is 7 times 2x, this will become 14x over 7, but we can easily cancel out 7 and 7. What will remain here is 2x. And for this part, this one is plus 14. And for 12 times 7, 12 times 7 is equal to 84. What's next is we will eliminate 14. So what we need to do is to subtract or use its additive inverse, which is negative 14. We will subtract 14 from both sides of the equation. So this will become 0. And what will remain here on the left side of the equation is 2x, then equal to 84 minus 14, and the answer is 70. So divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. So cancel, cancel. Your x right now is equal to 35. This is the value of x for the first equation. By the way guys, you can use this and check whether your answer simply by substituting the value of x which is 35 from the original equation. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given x over 3 plus 3x over 4 is equal to 2. So as you can see, compared to number 1, we only have one denominator. Here, we have two denominators. But don't worry, this one is not so difficult to solve. So, as you can see, we have 3 and 4. We need to find their least common multiple. And if you have 3 and 4, the least common multiple is simply 12. Therefore, you will multiply this little equation by least common multiple, which is 12, and 12. By distributive property, we will multiply it 1 by 1, 12 times x, so that is 12x over 3. This one, 12 times 3x over 4. We will directly multiply this na plus 12 times 3x is 36x over 4. And then for this part, 2 times 12, the answer is 24. So what's next? We will simplify 12x over 3, so this is 4x plus this one, 36x over 4, that is equal to 9x, is equal to 24. And as you can see, we can combine these terms, 4x plus 9x is 13x, then equal to 24. So after that, as you can see, what remains here is 13. So we will divide both sides of the equation by 13. We can cancel out this one. We can cancel out this one. So what we have now is x is equal to 24 over 13. So we can treat this one as our final answer. 
uh, you don't need to express this in mixed number. It's okay if you express your answer in improper fraction as long as your improper fraction is in simplified form. So I hope guys you learned something from this video and I will give you an activity for you to answer. So this is the problem. For number three, I want you to answer this one on your own. I will give you 2x over 3 minus 2 is equal to 5. So what do you think is the correct answer here? So I hope guys you learned something from this video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but you hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!